Welcome, happy Monday, everyone. So today um, we're going to be talking about whether you have felt um, resistance to the pressure of having to do self tapes, of having to do callbacks. And I know maybe that we didn't announce our topic in a clear way um, for today. But so what I want to um, for us to focus on is all aspects of the audition, right? Because you may have been used to being in auditions in person and then suddenly you have to deal with self tapes and that adds such a lot of pressure. And then you got to go back into callbacks and now callbacks are so rare and now you're in person again and that's weird. So that adds pressure too. And so that's what I want to look into now. Like if that pressure um, of the self tape and the callbacks is affecting you and actually um, kind of blocking you and preventing you from being your great, free and purposeful self. So you may have felt that, you know, there's so much that's happening when you have to do a self tape. Usually it's for the next moment and there's so much to learn and you have to find a partner and you have to set up all the tech and your framing and your eyeliner and the light, all of those stuff all of those things. And then you also have to choose your take, right? Which take are you going to take? You may film 20 because you have the freedom to, and then you may spend 20 hours figuring out which one do you like and which one do you want to send, right? So that can put a lot of pressure because you're not just focused on doing your job as an actor. Now you're also the cameraman and the casting director and the editor and the person who's sending the tape, right? So there's a lot more to your plate. And that pressure of doing all of those things can actually kind of make your instrument feel like it's under too much stress. And then you may not be able to be your best self in the moment. And then when you have a callback, I actually see it as a similar thing. It's just the stakes are higher. It's a bigger opportunity because, you know, you pass the first round. And so now you're closer to the result. You're closer to booking. You're right there. And so you might feel even more pressure, right? So in general, the fact that you're getting a self tape and then you're getting a callback, the bigger the opportunity, the bigger the casting, the bigger the role, the bigger the other actors around you, the more you'll feel the pressure and the more your instrument will restract and you'll feel less and less freedom. You'll feel less great than you know you can be. Like if you're doing this by yourself and alone, and you haven't started the self tape yet, or you're not at the callback, you'll feel incredible. You'll feel like, oh my God, I'm like, I can do this and I have the talent and I know this character and I'm totally able to feel in the moment, etc. But then because of the pressure of all the technicity of the self tape or the pressure of actually going to the callback and doing exactly the same thing that you did and remembering the clothes and making sure that you're doing what you did in the in the tape but then you're that you're still free in the moment and that you're still fresh and being aware of the people but not being too aware of the people i mean just in my voice i'm hearing it there's pressure right and if there's pressure and if you're affected by that pressure well then hi claude from Port portugal um, you, you, your instrument may shrink and you're kind of losing the opportunity because you're not showing up as your best self, right? So this is what we're going to talk about. And it's a spicy, painful subject because of course it's an opportunity. And in your mind as an actor, when you have an opportunity to book something, you know, it can change everything. It can give you a job. It can pay your bills. It can give you more chances in the future or a better role or a constant job on a show. So it can change not just you and acting. It can change your life. It can change your relationships. It can change your debt. It can change your relationship to your agent. It can change relationship to a studio. It can change a lot, right? So the bigger the opportunity, um, the more you're aware that it can change everything. And therefore, the more you're aware of that. So I get it. And it's frustrating because you're an actor and you want to act. So inevitably, you want to book, you want to grab those opportunities in self tapes and in callbacks. Finally, you have something going on. So you don't want to feel the pressure. And yet there is pressure, there's urgency, there's a lot, there's all of these things to take care of. And so it's it's not aligned. You're unable to show up with everything that you've prepared. And so what you might have tried before is you may have tried 
you know, some casting classes, some camera classes, some self-tape classes, some scene classes to make sure that you know how to do this, to make sure that you don't succumb to the pressure, to make sure that you're highly trained. And yet, when you have a big opportunity, a big self-tape, a big callback, you're still feeling that your instrument is shrinking and that you're not showing up as greatly as you know that you can show up. So what I would like to do today is really focus on what's really happening. So you do feel the pressure because of the self-tape and the technicality and the callback and the opportunity and all of that. Not that pressure. Something is, yeah, I think now it's working. Um, what's really happening is when you have a self-tape or when you have a callback, you're putting your attention on the tape or the callback. In short, you're putting your attention on booking. And when you're putting your attention on booking, what you're not doing is that you're not present in the moment to your character, to what they need, to what they want, to what they're after, to what they're fighting for. You're present to the next moment, which is I want to book, I want to be done with this, I want to have the job. You're present to, to being the salesperson part of you. You're not present in your artist. You're in your ego. You're not really there. You're in the future. You're in the next moment. The booking has nothing to do with your job. Your responsibility as an actor is to actually be present for your character, for what they want, for what they're after, for their challenges and circumstances, not for yours. That's not in your job description to pay attention to your ego and make yourself feel well. You're not part of the responsibility. Your character is the one that matters, right? So as long as you're going to make your ego more important than your character, you can't actually do the job, right? So as long as you're putting your attention on the tape, on doing the tape well, or on doing the callback well, on trying to book it, you're not paying attention to your character. That's why I never give any trainings on self-tapes. Because the second you're going to put your focus on the tape itself, you're busy, busy putting all of your attention on the result, on the outcome, on the booking. And there is no way that you can be present by thinking of the next moment, by thinking of the future moment, by think of the, uh, thinking of the outcome. You're kind of pirating the whole process of you being here, devoting yourself to a character's life circumstances and goals. You're taking over, you're hijacking the whole thing. Right? So the pressure is actually not coming from what you're thinking the pressure is, which is the outside. The pressure you're feeling is from you because you're pressuring yourself to be in the next moment. And it's not possible. You're right here, right now, and you are supposed to devote yourself, your presence, your emotions, your instrument, your physicality, your sensations, and your energy to the character that you're embodying and their story and what they want. And as long as you're preoccupied by doing it well, getting the right take for yourself tape, feeling not stressed, looking good, being confident, you're not doing the job, right? It's not your job. And, and, and talking even more about something bigger than job, it's not what this art form is about. This art form, or any art form for that matter, is not about you booking. It's not about you looking good. It's not about you not feeling pressure. It's about you opening up your instrument to become someone else. So you disappear, right? So if you're looping in that pressure, <laughs> tell it like it is. Thank you, Jose. If you're looping in that pressure, it means you're actually besides the point. You're not, you're not doing your job. It's like you're that salesperson in a carpet shop that comes to your throat and says, what do you want to buy? That's what you're doing when you're doing your self-tapes and dealing with that pressure, when you're going to the callback and trying to do it good and focusing on, on booking that callback. None of your attention, 0% of your attention, can be put on getting that self-tape right or on getting that callback booked. Zero. Because if there's 1% of you that's busy with that, 
there's no 100% of you in the character. So you're not present. You're not there. We can't see your uniqueness. We can't see what you have to offer that no one else has to offer. We can't see how bigger you are than even what's written. More interesting, more alive. If you're not fully present, fully in the moment, fully there, no one can see you because you're not there. So they can't see you in the tape. They can't see you in the callback because you're busy in the next moment trying to fool them into booking you, right? So they can't see you. So you have to actually be there for them to see you, right? And you have to be inside to connect and to have your emotions flowing, to have your presence there. If you're not there, if you're in the next moment trying to book, you're not there. You're not there, they can't see you. You're not there, you can't feel yourself. Nothing can happen, right? It's trying to make an unplugged machine work and give you something. You're not there, it can't work, right? Okay, all right, so how do you work through that? How do you get out of the loop of getting sucked into the pressure? of your self tapes and of your callbacks. Well, you bring all of that energy that you've spent decades out there trying to fulfill everyone else's desires that you think they have over you. You stop trying to please with all of your energy out and you bring it back in, right? So that's the work we do in our community. We help you unlearn how to not be good out there, trying to please everyone, trying to look good, trying to, trying to do the scenes right. We help you undo those mechanisms that have nothing to do with your authenticity and freedom. And then we help you build back up the stuff in you that you haven't used for decades, your truth, your authenticity, your uniqueness, right? So if this makes sense, if you often feel that you're a victim of the pressure in your self tapes and in your um, callbacks, especially when they're bigger projects and when they're more important to you, then reach out to us, send us a DM, let us know what you're dealing with so that we can start a conversation with you and let you know um, if we can be helpful. If this makes sense, you can also go in the link in the bio, you can go in the about section on Facebook and download our free um, training, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor So You Have a Chance at Being Great. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, guys, thank you, bye.